This team is four games away from breaking the record for most losses in a row in MLB history, but it gets worse because due to this scheduling mishap, if they do break this record, one of the most ironic and embarrassing things you'll ever see will happen after the game. The White Sox are 60 games under 500. If they won every single game for the rest of the season, they'd still be under 500. They haven't won a game in 26 days. Since then, they're last in runs, last in RBIs, last in average, last in base percentage, last in slugging percentage, last in OPS, have the worst war, have the worst ERA, and have struck out the least amount of hitters in MLB. Right now, they've lost 20 games in a row. But what makes this even sadder is that the MLB record for most losses in a row is 24, meaning if they lose their next four games, they will break the record at home against the Cubs. Before the season, the White Sox picked this game to have a fireworks show happen directly after the game. So if they break the streak for most losses in a row, it will not only happen against their rivals, it will be in front of perhaps their biggest home crowd of the season and be followed by a post-game fireworks show that will celebrate the worst losing streak in the history of modern baseball.